everybody. Several people uh, have asked now that we're coming forward to receive Holy Communion if we could help them understand the proper reverent way to receive Holy Communion while wearing a mask. This very brief video will show you just how to do that. The number one important thing is don't rush. Take your time. I think I've noticed a couple of hosts falling out of people's hands when they're trying to do too many things at once or they're trying to rush to get out of the way. We have nowhere to go, so don't be in a rush. It's also important to enthrone our hands, right? That's the best way to prevent our Lord from falling onto the ground. Now, this is an unconsecrated host. But just to show you, when you come up and the priest or the minister of Holy Communion says the body of Christ or Deacon Denny, and you place it, make sure your hand is extremely flat. And then with your predominant hand, you take the host and put it in your mouth, right? So what does that look like with wearing a mask? It's actually quite simple if you take your time. So when the priest or the deacon or the minister of the Holy Communion says the body of Christ and you say amen, if that predominant hand is at the bottom, just leave it flat. If you're right-handed, you take the host, you lower your mask, and you receive the Holy Eucharist. And then you place your mask forward as you return to your pew. It's important to keep your mask on while you're coming forward. That's the whole purpose of wearing the mask. And then dropping it, as you make your way to the pew and then putting your mask back up again. I'm so happy that you all are abiding uh, by the rules that the state uh, and our Archbishop has asked us to do by wearing masks. Please continue uh, to do so. It's always important not to be in a rush, to receive our Lord reverently and flat. I think sometimes our Lord tends to fall to the ground when we cup our hands or when we pinch or when we're trying to do too much. It's very simple. Whatever your predominant hand is, if you're right-handed, your right hand will be underneath. You will take the host, lower your mask. You will take the Eucharist into your mouth, and you will make your way to the pew. If you're left-handed, it's very simple as well. Your left hand will be underneath. You take the host, you use your opposite hand to lower the mask. You place the Eucharist uh, on your tongue, Put your mask back up and make your way to the pews. So remember, it's not rocket science. You just have to take your time, be reverent, enthrone your hands, not be in a rush, and enjoy receiving Holy Communion once again. Hope to see you at Mass this weekend as I will be telling my vocation story as we celebrate National Vocation Awareness Week. God bless you.